Well, this year we're finally getting some inclusive LGBTQ holiday movies, including Dashing in December, which is out on the Paramount Network on December 13th. Today, I'm so excited to be joined by the film's stars, Peter Porte, Juan Pablo Di Pache, and of course, Andy McDowell. How are you all? Very well, thank you. Well, yeah, really happy to be here. Happy holidays. This film is so great. It's about time, right? It is about yeah. time. Yeah. It's the perfect time. Juan Pablo, what does it mean to you to be, you know, a part of this film, especially, you know, since you, you know, came out recently? Uh, well, I mean, it's it's such a beautiful script. And uh, yes, it's I'm, I'm honored to be part of this kind of new wave or, or the beginning of a wave of the Hollywood movies that include LGBTQ plus characters. It's a, it's an, it's a, you know, it turns the genre on its head. And, uh, and yeah, for Jake Helgren, the writer director, it was important to cast two uh, LGBT actors. So, so just chuffed over the moon, really. And also to bring, you know, this, a, a degree of reality and honesty to these characters. Um, which sometimes in the holiday genre, it can get overlooked, you know, it can be all very mushy and corny. And I don't think our movie does that at all. So, um, so yeah, it's always great to be part of a, a really top notch um, project like this. It, it, it's such a good film, everyone. Uh, Peter, if I can go to you also, you know, he mentioned it was important to have two out actors, you know, playing these characters. So for you also, what does it mean to be a part of telling the story? Um, it's exciting. I think it's really exciting. Um, first of all, I feel very honored, very privileged to be working right now. I mean, I didn't think that I would be at all this year because of the pandemic. And so when this call came, I, um, I was, I was a bit shocked. And then when I understood what the project was about, I was even more excited and surprised. Uh, growing up, there really wasn't a ton of, um, of inclusive storytelling there was not i mean i never had my my love story reflected back to me in the characters that i was watching on tv and i think i just naturally accepted that christmas stories were about pretty white heterosexual people and um to be able to possibly uh offer a, a different viewpoint on a very traditional classic Christmas story for um, a, a young queer kid. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm really excited to be able to do that. Um, Andy, you are obviously no stranger to this genre. You've done, you know, holiday films before. So for you with this story, you know, what does it mean to you to be a part of this kind of change and this wave of being more inclusive in, you know, in these stories? Well, that was one of the greatest appeals for me. Also, the script was beautifully written, and um, me too. I was surprised to have the opportunity to get to work during COVID. I really wasn't expecting it, and it was it was this beautiful gift that was given to me. But really, the reason I wanted to do it is because my son was gay, um, and the kids know this. I um, I have a friend whose son is gay, and I think he's truly struggling. I mean, it's hard for you guys to, you live in Los Angeles, you know, but everybody's gay. I mean, but in smaller towns, it's still a struggle for certain people. They're still very fearful and, um, and don't want to introduce their mates to their family or to their friends. And they can't even fully come out, even when it's so obvious to everyone that they're gay. So I think the more we have these kind of wholesome, sweet movies, especially this kind of genre that are seen all over the country and you see it's, it's normal and it's okay and it's safe and it's accepted, um, then kids won't struggle so much. And also parents. I think parents need that. They need that support as well. They need to, to see that, um, how, how to behave in a way they need that projected what you're supposed to do how you should treat your your kids mm -hmm. 
Yes, I want all parents to see your character because that is what we need. We need a supportive, amazing mom like the one that you play. Um, right. You no. Know? Who, who you know, she wants her son to be happy, of course, and to um, be himself. Absolutely, Juan Pablo. You know, thinking about this, you know, Peter mentioned that you know there weren't films like this. You know, when he was growing up, if there, what, what would it have meant to you to have something like this? If there was a movie like this when you were a little bit younger, how do you think you know you would have reacted? With absolute joy. Um, it's only in the recent, I don't know, five, 10 years maybe that we've got to st start experiencing these kinds of movies. And uh, and it's th that's why it's a beautiful revolution because um, not only we are uh, telling a story from a really loving place and about a loving relationship between LGBTQ characters, but it's also, you know, um, it's also the right the right time in history, as I think. Um, it's a long time coming, and uh, I feel like these these movies as well with this 2020 that we've had. Uh, it's sort of like the beacon of light of the year. Um, so I would have I would have freaked out. I would have absolutely loved it, um, and I hope lots of kids watch it because it's a really beautiful romance uh, story. It's it's a, it's a lovely, you know, um, yeah, romantic film. It's a very romantic film. All the feels. I had all the feels watching it. I completely agree. Peter, uh, you know, I think it's interesting. There's a tremendous opportunity with families and parents because of, you know, the world that we're in, the pandemic, obviously people being home more together, but also during the holidays. So what do you want people that, you know, watch this film, take, what do you want them to take away from it? The exciting thing about a Christmas movie is that it's so established. We we've been you know we've had it for years. It's a it's it's a, it's an institution of now December is that you just watch tons and tons of Christmas movies and they fall follow very similar tropes. They they can be a bit formulaic, but we want that in a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that we just adjust it a little bit and throw in a homosexual relationship in it while still honoring all the other tropes that um, we've, we've come to really love and insist upon. I think people just, I hope people walk away seeing that um, in, in a, especially in a very divisive time where we're, we're pretty divided, um, is that we're not very different. That we're all really going through very similar things at the holidays. We're having struggles with our families. We're having struggles with ourselves. We're coming to, um, we're, we're, we're com becoming introspective about what we did over this past year. And I think that our film deals with all of those things. So um, maybe in, maybe just to to leave thinking oh we're all we're all go we're just all going through this, this this thing together and it's not so different we're all dealing with the same emotions absolute um andy without giving away too much because i, I want people to experience it there is a scene uh where your character really talks about you know being gay is just one part of who these guys are. Um, what was it like to, to have really, I, cause I, I, I felt that was such an impactful scene. What was it like for you to, to kind of be a part of, of telling that? Well, it, you know, it's really important to me because of my personal experiences I've had my whole life. My best friend growing up was gay and really never truly came out because of my generation. And um, I've had, you know, I've just had these long-term relationships. It's interesting with uh, so many gay friends and people that have held me together my entire life. And I, you know, I know, I know, I, I know. I'm, I mean, I can't be them, but I, I've watched from, you know, very close the what it's like to not be able to be yourself and it's just um it's it's one human to another human and that's really all it is you know people just don't have their hearts can be so cold sometimes humans and um i loved being able to to tell this story because it's it's about humanity 
and um, and done in a really cheerful environment, you know, so it's perfect. It's not heavy handed. It's joyful, but yet really poignant. It's a powerful story. It is. And speaking of joy, I've never wanted to move to Colorado and be on a ranch more than after I watched. <laughs> and Peter, it looks like the, the lifestyle is kind of rubbing off on you, I see in your outfit. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had an amazing time in, Col uh, I'm sorry, in Utah. We shot it in Utah. Um, it was Colorado, beautiful. yeah. <laughs> beautiful, right, right. Um, beautiful time of year. We were there for September just as all the leaves were changing colors and we shot on this gorgeous ranch and we all had horses. We, um, we went for, uh, since we're still in quarantine at the time, uh, we didn't have many opportunities for different activities when we had our days off. So the four of us would usually go for a hike and um, we learned from Andy what to do when we come across some wildlife. Now we do not leave the house, especially in Utah without <laughs> rocks in our pockets. And remember that you never turn your back on an animal. You just show <laughs> how big you possibly can be. And uh, you put them in your place that way. Uh, I, yeah, I actually saw a bobcat, which is very rare. I mean, you just, uh, it doesn't happen. I saw a mother bobcat and two kittens. Well, on my very first hike in Utah, up behind the hotel. How cute. And then I know. Juan Pablo, I, I, I believe you um, are, are you Argentinian? Yes. Well, I, but I have to say you, you looked very comfortable in your Western gear doing the line dancing to Shania Twain. So, I mean, well, how was that for you? <laughs> I was so happy every time every time I have a cowboy hat on and, and cowboy boots I am in heaven I love because to me that is um, exotic you know coming from Argentina that to me is like oh my god yeah I grew up watching movies about cowboys so so the fact that he is a cowboy a cowboy um, is awesome and line dancing with with both Andy and uh, and Peter was probably one of the most fun days as well because we we just had a hoot in, in this uh, saloon. Um, you looked really good too. You looked great in the movie. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, there's a, not a spoiler, but for everyone out there watching, there is a moment, a very romantic moment where these two guys are together and Casey Musgraves is playing in the background. So just tune in for that. It, it was one of my favorite parts too. So <laughs> my favorite part too. It's my yeah. favorite part too. It just it really got me because you know as a as a as an LGBTQ uh, actor, most of my life playing straight characters, uh, to see myself like that uh, in such a loving and, and 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 yeah romantic scene with Peter was kind of like. Touching, you know, uh, and I think the audience will get a kick out of, out of it. Also, that song is crazy beautiful. And beautiful. The music's good, and the, the, he did really did a really good. Jake did a great job with all the music. And yeah. I got to give it to Jake also for in that scene. I'm like, uh, can we just slow dance? Can we just sway side to side? He's like, no, you're cowboys. You have to two step. Yeah. And so we have to learn how to two step during this romantic scene and still make it look intimate and. Yeah. Um, and having seen it now, I'm really glad that he, mm. he made it that. Yeah, no, it's so great. And I, I can't help but think, you know, just the, the impact of people that will see that and maybe be seeing something like that between two men for the very first time and the, you know, the power to change hearts and minds and for, you know, representation is it's so important. But um, the three of, or three of you, thank you so much. Uh, Dashing in December, uh, just a reminder, everyone is out December 13th on the Paramount Network. You will love it. All the feels, so be sure and tune in. And the good thing is holiday movies continue to rerun all month. So, you know, lots of people will see it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yay.